Hey guys, uh, Glenn Trayer, Mountain Man Journals, um, Trayer Wilderness. Uh, as you can tell, probably tell, I have a little bit of a cold. Um, I haven't been feeling good for a couple weeks now. Um, so you have to just bear with me here on this. Um, I gotta thank George for helping us out, helping get me back on the road to getting rid of this stupid cold. So thank you, George. I really appreciate it. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a uh, um, possibles bag. Um, I was working on, I'm working on a bunch of stuff, projects, since I can't get outside. Um, working on a bunch of different projects here. Um, put a strap on my haversack and working on a pack and stuff like that so and a sheath for my axe and all kinds of stuff so but anyways what I'm gonna be working on today is uh like I said this possibles bag mm, excuse me um I've already cut a pattern out this is just out of an old cracker box I just cut my pattern out the size I want um, those of you who don't know, um, Possible's bags weren't that big. Um, they were pretty much just a small little bag that they carried, like Mountain Men and that carried their, you know, their little fire kit, their, their maybe a flint napping tool, um, or you know like their vent pick um, you know that sort of thing it wasn't a great big bag it didn't hold a whole lot of stuff um, just enough that was kinda their you know their their rifle bag you know their round balls um, you know all that stuff um, that was what they carried in their you know in their possibles bag so it wasn't a huge bag and it wasn't intended to be a great big thing so but what I'm what I've done I've, like I said I've cut this out this is my pattern um, it's gonna be seven inches high six I think six inches I think I measured it six inches crossed three inches wide and uh, then the flat the top part here the flap will come down down over so I'm gonna be using um, some brain tanned um, elk hide that I did. Um, I'm gonna be using that for for this, um, right? Like my uh, haversack that I made um, out of this. <coughs> Excuse me, out of that same stuff. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down on the the floor and uh, get everything set up here, maybe move this camera, get repositioned, and uh, go from there. So I'll show you how I'm doing that. So, Alright, see you in a little bit. Alright, hopefully you guys can see this okay. Um, this hides a little stiff. Um, I didn't work it enough um, when I was brain tanning it. Elk hides <laughs> extremely hard to work, um, but uh, so it, it's stiff. I mean, it's tanned, but it's not. You know, it's not. I didn't work it enough to make it real soft, and it dried. So, <coughs> excuse me. So what I'm doing. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to lay this down and trace this out the best I can here. And I'm just you know, I'm just running, 
running along here. Alright, we got that part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. Um, I'm going to get another, what I'll do here now, that was the, the top part, the back. Now I'll take and cut one, like uh, when there's a line, I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a line that runs across, basically, across here. And uh, that's the front, that'll be the front flap there so I'm gonna get this cut out traced and, and everything and I'll uh, I'll get back with you all right guys um, try and get this so you can see hopefully you can see this this is what we're we got this is the I got, I'm going to have to work that, soften that up a little bit. Um, but this is going to be our sides. They'll get sewn, they'll get sewn like this. Um, hopefully you can see it. will get sewn like that and then turned inside, right side out. Um, this is the front. And then this is the back and the top, you know, that comes down over. So... Just a little, little bag to put like, you know, your balls and your, uh, maybe your lead ladle, um, a little fire kit, you know, something, something like that. It's not, uh, you know, not big. It's not, like I said, it's not meant to be big. It's just a little shooting bag, so. So, that's cut out. Uh, I'm going to start stitching on that and uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. So, Alright guys, so this is kind of what we got so far. Um, we're, hopefully you can see this. Alright. Like I said, this isn't going to be some great bag. Big bag. Um, just a possibles bag this is kind of what it'll look like a little bit when it's done I'm actually making two of them one for my wife um, she she has a bag fetish so I was making this and she goes Ooh, who are you making that for and I said well me myself and I and uh, she's like oh so I decided I'd make her one too. We won't tell her though. Um, like I said, this is sides, um, the front. This is going to be the front here. This will get sewn in. Um, I'm using an awl. Gentleman from uh, Alabama sent up uh, the awl up to me. I uh, thank you, sir. You know who you are. Appreciate it. Um, and uh, it's working, working great. Um, so, like I said, this isn't going to be some great big, um, great big bag. It's just a, you know, it's going to hang here. This front will come down over, cover this up. You know, just a nice little bag. Put my round balls in and my you know extra powder or whatever I might have my fire kit you know whatever um, my vent hole pick stuff like that all that stuff for my muzzle loader so well I'm gonna get the stitching on this back side here or the actually the front and uh, I'll show you what that looks like then um, there's gonna be a a uh, piece of uh, leather strapping that'll come down I'm going to sew a piece on the side here, and that'll hang, you know, like that. But I'll show you that when I when I get there. So, all right, see you in a bit. All right, guys. So, this is what we got so far. Um, 
sewed the front on and eyelets put eyelets here here four eyelets that way you can draw that tight and kind of suck it in help hold that top shut um, what I guess what I should have done was taken this and here where it met up with the sides it should have flared it out you know and came out but it'll be it'll be okay it'll work fine especially with these eyelets and the drawstring in there it'll be it'll be fine so it'll come down and come to the front like that and lash on and then there'll be straps um, I'm doing something a little bit different for my straps um, here I'll show you what I did to my haversack um, of what I did was I got a clean or put oil on this yet some leather treatment on there but took this strap up here and then I made a metal um, almost I don't know it's not a d-ring but close um, hopefully you can see that okay um, just a metal piece that goes around there makes that strap um, so that's uh, that's what I'm going to do the same thing with uh, with that I think with the possibles bag so that's uh, that's where we're at with this um, you know so the the side or the um, strap pieces on here right on the side and uh, when I get that done I'll show you show you that so all right, see you in a bit. All right, guys. So, got my possible bag done. I got to put some uh, leather treatment on it yet, but uh, there it is. Um, show you a little bit here kind of what I did this a little bit all right so what I did is took a horn a tip of a horn and stuck that on there used a bank line for the toggle um, used paracord come through there. I know I probably should have used raw hide and stuff, but I didn't. Um, and then here at the top, you can see I did that. Kind of pull those sides in. And you can reach down. You know, nice, nice sized pouch. Um, here's the uh, strapping. Um, pieces I made, metal pieces for there. Um, see that? So, so, there's my possibles bag. Hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed this and got something out of it. But not very big, but it'll work. Do what it needs to do. So, hey, baby, yeah. can you come here a minute, please? Yes, you do have to. Oh, I know I'm needy. I need you.
Can you hurry up for a second? What? Can you come over here quick for a second? Just take a second. I know, but I'm in the... Give me one second. I'll be right there. Yes. All right. Very cool. All right. Very, very cool. Nice. Oh, I like that. I love when you guys do that. That or the base of the antler is what I like best. Yeah. Sweet. That's yours. What? That's yours. Nice. What are you doing? Videoing me? Smile your <laughs> from camera. I can tell by the smirk on your face. Don't I look lovely? I've got work face on. <laughs> well, guys, I think she liked Darkness? it. Darkness, yes. That'll work out perfect for my journal while I'm out in the wilderness. I know I'm supposed to put my fire kit in there. My fire kit will be in there too. And my journal. And I'll be sitting on the back of the horse riding. <laughs> So Finding the perfect spot. It. There you have it. So. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Got to add that. Sorry. <laughs> so. Nice. Well. Very nice. Like I said, guys, I got to put the uh, other treatment on there yet, but uh, <laughs> there it is. I'm actually making one right like this for myself. Um, that'll be my possibles bag for my, you know, my round balls and all that, but. Uh, Effort. Like I said, she has a bag fetish. I do. So, and she loves leather. So. <laughs> they kind of go hand in hand. So. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Very nice. I've got a good man. <laughs> well, guys, I guess with that being said, take care. God bless. And we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. <laughs>